What's going on, Agent Nation? It's Frank Bernardo, and here is another episode of the Real Estate Coaching Club podcast on YouTube. Before we do anything, can you please like and subscribe? I'm trying to get some traction on this channel, get some more things going on so I can bring you as much value as I can possibly find. So that being said, today we are going to talk about getting a buyer. If you want to get a buyer, it's really, really not that hard. First of all, you should have everybody in your phone, in your, if your phone, all the contacts and everybody in your phone should be in your database. And if you don't have a database, there's going to be another video for that. There's another video. Go look at that. You should have all of your people in a database and you should be calling them through your database. So that being said, you're trying to find your first buyer. It's a step-by-step -step process. And when I say that, it's like you have to get some type of presence up online. So when you talk to people and they Google you, you, like your Google business page, your website, your database, all your social media should be dialed in. Dialed in meaning having all your correct contact information and all of your website stuff. And, and it just should look really good. That being said, you want to find a buyer. It's really not super difficult to find a buyer. What you have to do is you have to talk to all of your people, not email, not text messages, not Facebook. You have to call them and you call them and you call everybody you know, not the people you think, because you don't know what's going on in everybody's life unless you actually talk to them. You have to call everybody you know and you call them and you have a very simple conversation with them. So one of the scripts we use with our coaching program is that we use the Ford script, which is family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. You don't have to use all of those or hit each one of those things. It's spelled Ford because it's a cool name, I guess. But you call someone and you, and you just touch base with them. You don't talk about real estate on the front end, not for this. In general, you just call to figure out where everybody's at in their life. How's the family? Hey, how's the kids? Hey, John, how's the kids? Just want to touch base with you. I was going through my contact list. I was going through my database. You know, I saw on Facebook, you did this, like figure out a reason to call somebody and just check in on them, find out how they're doing personally, find out how they're doing with their job. And then at the end of this conversation, for whatever reason you called them for, I said, Hey, John, before I let you go, I wanted to ask you a quick question. I, you know, I'm in real estate and I come across a lot of amazing real estate deals. Some are good, some are not, but I wanted to ask you because I'm creating an interest list that if I come across an amazing property that is below market value, it's just an amazing deal. It's a foreclosure. It's a fixer, just something in the realm of a really good deal. Would you be interested in hearing about it before anyone else? And then you don't say anything and you wait for them to respond. Some are going to say yes. Some are going to say no, that's fine. You don't want everybody to say yes. And somebody's going to say, yeah, well, you know, they might ask you a question. What does that mean? What does a good deal mean? What does a foreclosure mean? Or, or what about the interest? It'll create a real estate conversation. But what you're doing is you're asking them to be part of an exclusive group. If I found something that was amazing, would you be interested in hearing about it first? So you hear about something at a team meeting, at a, a friend or another agent, or you just happen to see something online that you just know is an amazing deal. What you're going to do is you're going to take them and you're going to put them into a select group. Uh, I've done Facebook groups before. You can do Slack. You can do text message groups. I don't know if I would do text messaging group. I would probably do a Facebook group or a Slack channel or something like that or a separate email list. And you say, when they go, yeah, you know what? I would be interested in it. And make sure that they understand that you're, they're not tied into buying anything. You're just creating an exclusive group to see, hey, I found something amazing. Are you interested? Maybe, maybe so, no, whatever. And you put them in the group and then you have to be super selective about what you send to them. You just can't spam them and send them a whole bunch of junk. You have to be selective. Send them amazing deals. Send them things that you think are really cool. And if you don't have anything that pops up right away, check in and call them. Say, hey, I just wanna let you know, I, you're in the group, but there just hasn't been any amazing deals lately. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Communication is key. Over communication. Don't ever think that you are calling and talking to somebody too much. You're trying to deliver value to them. So you want to put them in a group and then you're going to send them deals and say, hey, this property in North Hollywood just came up. It's a fixer. It's not even livable. It's, a, it's an amazing deal. If you want some more information, let me know and I can jump on the phone with you. 
the key is to get on the phone with people, to judge their temperature as far as where they're at and how serious they are about buying. You can loop in affiliates with this. Like you can have um, contractors, you can have lenders, you can have different people that are a part of this group to help out with your plight to get people into business. So you go through your list and you basically say, hey, you know, I was calling just to see how you're doing. How's everything going? By the way, if I found an amazing deal because, you know, I'm in real estate and I come across, you know, some, some deals all the time, some are better than others. If I found an amazing deal for you that was under market value, that was a fixer, that was a foreclosure, that was just an awesome deal for this market, would you be interested in hearing about it first? No? Okay, that's fantastic. Let me know if you ever have any questions. Bye. Yes. That's fantastic. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you into a specific group that is for people looking for deals. That you're gonna, it's gonna be a very elite group. I'm not gonna have a lot of people here, but you guys will all be in this group and you guys will all get notified of this information. And if you don't wanna put them in a group, you can make them feel extra special by just saying, okay, I'm gonna put you on my list to be one of the first people I call or send information to. And so you can have them on a list, Nobody will see each other, and then you send out information. There's really no rules on this. At the end of the day, you wanted somebody that said yes to possibly getting a good deal and created that conversation and let people know that you are in the know when it comes to the real estate business. So now you get that person that says yes. You put them into the database. Now you just got somebody that agreed for you to send them real estate information, and you have to send them amazing things. Send them amazing stuff. Follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. And then what you do is that you have this conversation once a quarter, biannually with your database because your database is going to shrink and your database is going to grow. And there's going to be people in your database three to six months from now that have never had this conversation with you. And so you want to have this conversation with your database every now and then and just follow up with them. The key is to follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, and communicate, over communicate with everybody in your database. That is how you get your buyers first. You find somebody that wants an amazing deal and then you communicate with them and you go out and you find an amazing deal. There's an amazing deal in every real estate market. Listen to me, there is an amazing deal in every real estate market. And there's going to be one of uh, maybe the next podcast on my biggest mistake that I've ever made in real estate. We're going to talk about that, but go to your database, talk to them, get your exclusive buyer list together and make sure everybody is in the database, has talked to you and just make it happen. Go talk to people. That's the way this works. Hope you have a fantastic day. I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a fantastic afternoon business. Let me know if you have any questions. Sign up for my course, zero to six figures in your first six to 12 months. Um, and that's it. Hope you have a fantastic day. Love you. See you. Bye.